so we're going to get into the nitty gritty in this segment. Um, the <coughs> hunting and gathering systems are really sophisticated, and I'm going to get into that after I take out this this uh, pheasant who's hiding up here. I have to get this thing up. Because it's the first time I've picked this up, it's going to annoy me. But Gotta be fine. so quiet. Oh, oh yes! Nice. nice. Right. So I'm just going to go up and grab this. A perfectly prepared piece of meat. It is. Just as late fell <laughs> off. So. Bird meat drumstick. Oh, just let's not start. With OK, so to start, I'm just going to take a look at my surroundings. So I see here on the log, I have a little bit of party truffle. So this is something we're going to cook a little bit later to uh, give us some temporary parts. But first, I am on the hunt. So let's find some animals. I love how you're just stealthing everywhere. I am. You gotta sneak up on them. Ooh. You do. Yeah, it's they weird are very when alert. You do that back There's at the a boar. Oh. I spooked him. So cool. That's right. Oh, nice. Oh, All right. poor Brutal. thing. I got this one. They will drop two steaks. So they, they won't always drop two steaks, but I have two steaks. I can eat this raw meat. This raw meat's gonna mm -hmm. uh, restore one heart, but I can also prepare it to increase its efficacy. Mm -hmm. um, and I spy up here in the tree. A little something. Some more goodies. A little something, something. A hearty truffle. All right. A stamella stream and a hearty truffle. So all of these, all of these foods um, have certain certain qualities to them that, like you said, you can draw out specific elements of them through the preparation, through the cooking process. So, so this sort of gathering as much as you can get all at once up front is really beneficial here. I'm trying to chase them down. So it's if you can get a headshot on these guys, you can actually. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, it's not too hard to find food all throughout the forest and everywhere you go there are different things that you can collect. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I actually just picked up a butterfly there. If I use that, I can prepare it, uh, mix it with some monster parts. And we're actually going to go take out a monster right now. Uh, just right now I'm kind of gathering all this and then I'll sit down and, and cook it all. You got to get your ingredients. But as you're traveling from place to place in the game, you're going to have to obviously replenish your hearts. So in previous Zelda's, you were able to cut down the grass and uh, get your hearts back. In this game, you can't do that. You have to cook. Um, or you don't have to cook, but you have to eat. Um, <laughs> you have to eat. But cooking usually increases how many hearts you're going to get back. But what you can do with the grass is sometimes when you cut down um, longer grass, you'll find those insects and will not hiding in it. Find a little oh, something. So I'm going to postpone that. Let's see if I can take out Little one. buddies hanging out. And I think something of note also is, you know, you're going on this boar hunting rampage. <laughs> um, because that's your style, but you can also do a veggie playthrough on this. You know, there's no, you this, can. There's no need to do that because there's so many other forms of food and sustenance that you can gather in the game. Yeah, and a lot of the veggie dishes that you can pre prepare have a ton of benefits to them, so mm -hmm. it's always worth exploring. Oh gosh, this guy is not happy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice. I don't know where he went. Uh, oh, he went all the way down there. <laughs> Let's see, did I pick up his friend's drop? I'm not sure. That's right. Okay. So check out some see. frogs. Let's see what I got. Ooh, yeah, frogs. Let's see if we can get some frogs. Get some stuff. Get some more. Oh, here they are. Alright, so that macabre I took out we dropped a horn and a fan. Mm, no, yeah. So I can use both of those uh, and prepare them with, mix, mix them with critters, insects, and frogs, and what have you, to make elixirs, which I can then use to give myself special effects. No froggies. Mm. Still want to get some <laughs> Exploring the high grass here. See if there are any insects. Oh. Aha! Oh, nice. Yeah. Yes. So, I cricket. so I can also combine that with. Um, and you'll find different stuff, lizards in the grass. And also, you'll find different animals at different times of day. So sometimes, if you go to the nighttime, you'll find fireflies, which have special effects that you can find otherwise. And all of that. So, let's take my torch. Walk over this fire. Light it. Like this. And let's get to cooking. So, 
I'm going for an inventory. I have three steaks. The first steak, I'm just going to eat. Uh, I'm not going to eat. But if I were to eat it, it's going to give me one heart. Mm -hmm. right? What I can do is I can hold it, and there are multiple ways to prepare food. So right. here I have a campfire, and I have a cooking pot. Mm -hmm. So what I can do is I can either hold a torch to this, drop it straight on the fire. It's going to turn the steak, cook it, and it's going to become a seared steak. Okay. So that's going to give me a heart and a half. But I could take that same ingredient, a raw steak, and cook it straight in the, in the Cooking heart. is so much easier in this game than in real life. <laughs> he makes it look so easy. It is. Sticks here. So that's going to be two hearts. So that's double uh, the amount of health. It's right. Be. And obviously you're not always going to have access to a cooking pot. But, right. Um, you'll generally always have access to fire. Or, or at least oh. you want to try to. Right. Yeah. So I can actually hold up to five items. And the, the different recipes in this game are crazy. Mm -hmm. How in depth it goes. You can combine, you know, multiple elements to get a different dish. I'm gonna right now. I'm gonna uh, mix the steak with, uh, let's say, three hearty truffles. So I have them all in my hand here. I drop them on the top. One thing I really enjoy about my own gameplay that I've had is you can combine a lot of elements that in the real world would make sense, and mm -hmm. then they they turn into amazing recipes. Right. So you can apply real world logic to it. It's really cool. Right. So I just made a meal. I'm also going to mix this, uh, let's say, it's yours. And so I'm actually going to stop that. I'm going to take this Bokoblin one and mix it with this. Let's go with the cream. Yum. So I take that. Yum, yum. <laughs> real world cooking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. real exactly. world, exactly. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that's going to be an energizing elixir. So I can drink that to restore, like if I was climbing and about to run out, mm -hmm. of, out of stamina, I'm able to drink that and restore some stamina to make it that extra. In the moment. Yeah, yeah. That's super helpful. There are also, there's all sorts of these elixirs and meals you can make um, that will, you know, power up your attack power, make you run faster. Um, stealth. Stealth, give you yeah. an extra part of your stamina wheel. That's what I should actually, like, the stealth one would be nice. You want to get some stealthy? Stealth ingredients? Uh, I don't know if I have any stealth ingredients, but I did cook this, this hearty meat and mushrooms. Yes. So it's going to fully recover my hearts and then add three additional hearts that are temporary. So those last until they're taken away mm -hmm. by obviously a monster or a So making dishes ball. like that are really useful for super strong enemies that mm -hmm. you'll inevitably encounter. Right. I always make sure to have my entire menu just filled with those. Just tons of them. They're super helpful if you're going on a big boss battle or yeah. some massive encounter. And it makes me feel safe. Makes me feel safe <laughs> having those in my inventory. That's what's important. Yeah. So one thing I didn't mention is you actually obviously don't have to kill any animals. You could just, you know, <laughs> run Take around. Take the pacifist route. Yeah, yeah. you could. You could run yeah. around. Mushrooms, trouble. Gather mushrooms. You could just hug trees like this and do whatever you want. Yeah, you can get through the entire game that way if you want. Nice. Flint, so that's going to be nice. So I can use that flint. So I have this kind of portable fire starter. Now. Right. So if I was out in the middle of nowhere and I just like had a really nasty uh, encounter with you know, any sort of enemy, really, uh, I would be able to. Actually, let me show you. I'm going to pull this woodcutter's axe out and switch to it real quick. I'm going to chop down this tree. <laughs> Turn that into Perfectly item. bundled, yet again. Got the apple. So what I can do here is I'm going to take that firewood, hold it, also hold the flint. I'm going to drop it right here. And I can take any metallic weapon mm. and strike this flint. That's not metallic. That is not metallic. <laughs> oh. Nice. nice. Suddenly I have a fire. I can cook on. Hiya. Uh, I can, it can warm you warm. up. Yeah, if, you know, if I was, if I didn't have the right gear to be in a certain uh, coldness level. Mm -hmm. like yeah, in higher altitudes. Have, you know. Yeah. And so I can also cook things to increase my cold or heat resistance. So mm -hmm. I'd be able to, you know, grab some spicy peppers, 
mix them with uh, some steak and make uh, some spicy steak. Then you got yourself a skewer. You got yourself a skewer. <laughs> I would see like, ooh, it's just a fish down there. So one thing I love doing in this game is bomb oh, fish. Oh, yes. So I'm going to toss that bomb. Come on. Uh, totally with it. Manny over Manny there. there. Let's check it out. Where the fish at? And so There's the fish one. come and go, so it's based on the time of day, what, yes. whether they're actually around or oh, not. Get him! Yeah, nice. Oh, nice. Nice. You got one? I got one. Nice. Worth it. <laughs> You're just going to zoom up on it. Alright, so I can take that fish. <laughs> you can also, you know, spear fish or, 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 or shoot arrow fish mm -hmm. and all that sort of stuff. So. But bomb fishing is just so extreme that it's not actually a lot. I'm gonna grab this rusty glass work because it may come in handy. Whoa! <laughs> so if I run out of stamina while swimming, mm. it makes a trouble. Mm. Because it's just too tired to go any further. Kind of makes like a gurgling noise and floats <laughs> down into the water. <laughs> it's kind of it's poor Link. <laughs> All right, let's. You really have to plan out when you're when you're trying to climb something or swim swim somewhere. You have to really think about it and look at your stamina gauge before you do it, because otherwise you will really end up in a bad situation. Yeah. <laughs> Paragliding down here. Back Some of these boards will actually charge you. <laughs> oh man, oh. that one's not <laughs> having <Nice>. it. <laughs> He heard what you did to his uh, buddy Gary the boar. Yeah. <laughs> Come back here. Run, little boar! Run! <laughs> Kendra's cheering for the boar. You're not gonna run. Why are you coming back? Oh. You fool. I just want to have a sword. This is, of course, the ancient art of sword throwing hunting <laughs> that. Uh, You've won this time. Before, but I'll, I'll be back. Didn't make it through the ages. And if you if you were to land that, it would have dealt more damage than just mm -hmm. shooting the arrow. So the yeah. high tail wizard. Uh, mm -hmm. The high tail wizard. If I were to use that to prepare an elixir, that's going to give me an increased speed, speed boost for mm -hmm. swimming, running, climbing, all of that. Which is really good. So you can do high tail lizard and then like rush rooms. Do you know what that gives you? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, that's I don't think I've done that yet. Well, so oh, honey. Wizards, the dragon. And just like in real life, they are extremely persistent. Oh, they're not still chasing you. Nice. Let's see if we can show that off. I just I love, love the this. ambient sounds. And look at this huge yeah. tree. I love this oh, type nice. of world they built. It's absolutely incredible. And it's, he's fallen down and hollowed out. There's so many kind of unique little mm -hmm. like this The level of detail and care that's been given yeah. to us to make it feel alive and, and unique is absolutely yeah. Right. yeah, I mean, you, you were talking about sort of the depth of the, of the cooking mechanics. And I remember when we were, we had a video conference with the dev team and they were like, hey, so here's Here's the list of all the foods that you can make with all the items, and it was just this so massive awful. document. They were like, do you want that translated? And we are like, oh, <laughs> no, I, I fear Maybe. that document. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we do. OK, so I forgot what I was going to do here. Uh, this game definitely I, so makes me hungry every time I play. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to make something gross. We were going to make something bad, oh, yeah. yeah. do okay, it. So how, let's see. I'm so you made this. all these wonderful that's, things, that's some gross. that just replace hearts, and yes. replenish hearts, and some <laughs> that give you certain uh, abilities and new properties, but... But this time, I'm going to take, what is that, a bird wing, a mushroom, a bokoblin thing, and a butterfly. Just a bunch of stuff. Cre creative, yes. Mm -hmm. let's see. And this is, this is kind of a trial and error, you know. I'm you have to be smart. Oh. Wait, that worked? Hey, I haven't seen this one. Okay. Spicy, Spicy elixir. elixir. Ooh, I'm oh, that's about awesome. That. Okay, sweet. So let's. That wasn't gross enough. Everything you have is tasty. That's the problem. That's, that is the problem. You need to go yeah. find some. There's got to be something gross, gross things. Gross I, have. I don't know though. I may have just picked up delicious stuff. But let's try this. And then acorn. I mean, acorns aren't the tastiest. <laughs> we'll try a butterfly. And fish. fish butterfly. Fish. Oh, there we okay, go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I love the sounds. Dubious food. 
Yeah. So. We can't even look at it. Just, it's just that, don't. It's that gross. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's your failure cooking. That was my failure. And that's the thing. You kind of have to experiment, find what you need and what you want. Mm -hmm. and, and you can still eat it, and it still kind of like, totally, helps you yeah. a little bit. Yeah, it's what, one heart, I think, replenish? Yeah. And what's cool is like you can spend all this time hunting and cooking and kind of finding out all the food, but you can also mm -hmm. just, as you're moving from place to place, kind of find the things that you that are on the way. You, know, you don't have to necessarily go out of your way to always be hunting and gathering. It's yeah. going to happen for them. Yeah, as you explore, you just run into all kinds of things you can collect. Sure like that. Seven, oh, yeah, check it man. out. Oh my goodness. This <laughs> Those were my Hylian shrooms. Yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. So oh my gosh. Off. See, it detached this, its arm to attack you. I. What's funny is I'm not really prepared for this. Fight. We, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to take this guy down. I like that oh. you're pri prioritizing the mushrooms too as you're hey, running man, around. You're yes. like, I gotta collect these. Have to. This is important. Okay. So I wish I would have made myself like a speed boost so I could more mm. easily get up to that. Yeah, spicy elixir ain't gonna do much for us yeah. here. The temporary hearts though. We've got one skewer. Yeah. That's what we got. So. Oh boy. This is Step Talus, one of the uh, one of the major enemies on the plateau here. So this is weak spot. Obviously, his weak spot. Nice. Get him. One thing I love about this game too is that you'll be walking around and it'll be all peaceful. You're just like, ha, ah, and then all of a sudden this monster just emerges from the earth and starts right. back, like throwing its arm yeah, at you. <laughs> so I actually just oh, oh, gosh. got wrecked in one shot by this guy. <laughs> no! <laughs> so I had, I had hit his weak spot enough where it uh, starts spewing. He drained. <laughs>